This is the instructional video on how to install a Model Train Technologies uh, LED light board. This is an HO scale LED board with DCC decoder and uh, we're going to put this inside here. This will make fantastic lighting on this uh, Amtrak Superliner and we're also going to install the rear end LED lighting and all of that is controlled by this board. Let's take a quick look at the board. And this is the, one of the prototypes that we got from the company. And uh, the, the production models are black and white, two flavors. Uh, this prototype board is green. And you can see right here, uh, one, two, three, four, all the way down, 11 LED lights. There's a microprocessor and some support circuitry. And these are capacitors, uh, very advanced uh, uh, technology now kind of all of this driven by iPhone and miniaturization but this will help with the mechanical pickup uh, st not static but uh, sort of disconnect noisy signal uh, that tends to make these things shut off and we've had really good success with this so anyway that's where we're starting um, also the kit comes with the board comes with a set of uh, these are 0402 LEDs, they've already been wired up. You don't want to have to figure out how to wire that really teeny thing. It's really teeny. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway. So we'll, we'll be back in a moment and we'll show you how to, how to wire that up. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is disassemble our car. And you can see the remnants of the Kato light system. This system uh, there's a little board here. We're going to take all of that out. Oh, there we go. There it is. A uh, little pinkish light. And this, the, all of the Kato systems have this. They have one LED, uh, and that drives uh, light through this light pipe, this uh, pinkish light pipe on both, uh, on one end, actually, not on, not on both ends, on one end. And that light lights the rear lights. So that's all there is to that. And there's one on each end, so you can decide which end you want. Uh, the lighting system, there is another board and some parts to put in here. Uh, they use, again, a plastic light pipe. We found those to be pretty, pretty awful. And uh, so anyway, we're gonna upgrade this to a full LED DCC controlled lighting system. We can adjust the brightness. Uh, it will control the rear LED and, uh, and the phone's ringing. So as I was saying, <laughs> I was interrupted by the phone, we're going to take these out. You actually just pour it back a little bit and this will spring loose and that will come out. So uh, we're going to take this off. Sorry. We're going to take this off of this thing. We don't need that. Um, if you want to leave the other one on, great. But uh, that's what we're going to do there. And I test fitted a board earlier. Um, and so I wanted to show you what this is going to look like when it gets inside the car. Fits and designed perfectly to fit within the tabs inside the car. It's uh, 11 millimeters. So perfectly set up and that will light all the way down the length of the car. So I want to show you something. Uh, we've got the actual board here and we put it in there and it's a little bit tight. If we really force it, it'll go inside the HO tabs. It was designed to fit in that space. However, I want to show you in case you have a car where the board's just a little bit fat, what you can do. Uh, this board is, uh, there are no components on the backside, and you can see very, uh, if you pick up the board, you'll see a lighter green material and then a darker green. This is a ground plane on the back, and you can sand on the edge all the way up to the ground plane and the components are inside enough that you won't harm them you won't harm the board it won't change the operation and the way to do that is just to keep gentle pressure this is 100 grit sandpaper and just have it go back and forth uh, just back and forth like that do a little bit on one side do a little bit on the other side and in fact in this board there was a little burr from the manufacturing process this is as i said a prototype um, but we'll do that a few more times and then we'll put that, uh, we'll go back and forth a few times to test fit it. We want it to be snug so it sits up in the, uh, 
in the ceiling of the car but um, all right so we'll be back and we'll uh, we'll show you what that looks like in a second so I sanded that a little bit just wiped the dust off and we'll check it for fit inside the car and the tabs let's just put that in there and slide it in and beautiful it just fits and you can see it's snug between the tabs of the existing plastic frame of the car and it's ready to be wired up and that's what we'll do next let's go back here and feed that through got the black one through things are really small so we'll grab get a little bit of help here straighten it out there we go one through <laughs> And come on, come on. There we go. Ah. Voila. Okay. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is use this is called gallery glass plaid, and this one is um, clear. And it really is clear. It's, a, it's amazing. And I'll put a little bit here. Easiest way to is to get my toothpick. And you know what? That little guy f came right through again, didn't he? <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to put a little dab of this on here. Okay, while that is drying, we're going to take a look at the board and um, we'll actually test it, make sure that everything is good. These are just the uh, track leads from my Digitrax controller and I'm going to just connect it up to the DCC end. It's labeled, don't connect it to the other end. Well, you can see the lights are working. The red light at the end is, uh, you may or may not have a red light, an LED. Um, what tends to happen is we like to add this in for testing purposes when we're doing a lot of boards and uh, you can take that off or better yet the easiest thing to do to hide it is just paint some uh, Tesla's uh, black gloss paint and put a dab right on the top of that and in fact we're going to do that with the blue light the blue light also is to let you know there's power to the board and everything's working so very quick rundown F0 is for on for the lights, F3 is for the rear lights, uh, F1 is Fulbright. We recommend that you do not run the board at Fulbright. Um, nothing bad will happen except it'll get hot because you're running it at a higher current. And then for visual purposes, um, you can actually change, uh, F4 allows you to change up and down uh, the brightness of the board. So we tend to set it at about 30% or 30 on the dial. F2 saves that. The, it'll flash to let us know that that's happened. Now the other thing you can do, F5 will when you turn will turn on the uh, dim up and down. I guess we could call it ramp up and down. And so if you hit the off button now, you can see that it dims and then it will brighten to come back up versus just on off. Either one, all of this is for uh, visual animation, and so whatever you choose uh, is up to you. All right, so now that the bird board is working, we're going to paint that blue dot, <laughs> that blue LED. And we're, we know the board works fine and everything. And we, we, that, that'll, you could leave it in there. You'll see a little bit of glow inside the cars, particularly if it's darkened. And don't worry about the power being on and don't worry about covering this up or being a little sloppy. Okay, that's all you need. And that's the end of that. And that will, now there's a little bit of light. You can see it if, if I turn the lights up down a little bit, you can see there's a blue light coming through there. And uh, like I said, that's just to let you know everything's going, going fine. Put that aside. We're going to connect up to these two wires here. All right, and we're not going to cut the wire while we do this. We're going to just solder right in that spot very carefully. Just a dab of solder and just make sure your iron is clean. When you do this, scrape off all the stuff 
and then just a dab of solder and this is why if you tin it ahead of time it'll just stick and that's all there is to it. It took a fraction of a second and we didn't get ourselves wrapped up with the plastic and melting any of that so okay, after wrestling with that a little bit we have two very clean solder connections we'll take the loop and just run it right up through this hole just like that we'll clean it up a little bit in terms of its straightness here we're going to get it inside like that and we are going to put the door back on. Oops. Door goes like that. Oops. And there you go. Beautiful. Okay? So that's all the way that there is to that. And now what we're going to do is work on getting this up to the right place. So we, we're going to have the rear lights back in this side. We talked about that a minute ago. So I've got a couple of places that I can run the wire up through. Try this one right here. It's probably the... Okay. And now we have that just sitting there. Okay. And now the board will be wired like this. So, all right. So what we tend, what we'll do is we'll cut this in half. Well, now we can cut it. So all right, we got the board up where we want it. And what I'm going to do is just cut it like this. Nice straight ends. Okay. And these wires you can snip off a little piece with your fingernail. And we'll twist that around. And we'll tin them, tin them off, tin them with the soldering iron. In this case we're Alright, you ready for that? Nothing too exciting about this step. And we'll do the same down here. And there we go. Okay. Alright. Now, we're going to put this back together. And uh, let me just work on this. Okay, the next step is to solder the DC track wires to the board. That happens to be these two tabs at the very end of the board. And I tinned the wire and there was already some solder on the tab since we've been horsing around with this as the prototype. It's identical to the real thing. So uh, no, no change there. The real board looks like this, but same, same function. All right, so now we have, this is how it's going to operate inside the car. If you want to put the drill a hole back here, uh, run the wires around, you can do, you know, all sorts of things to relocate the, the wires for now. Just to show you what we're doing, we're not going to do that. We're going to just leave it like that. Once the, this car with the LEDs on the end of it are dry, we will then assemble the whole thing and test it out. Okay, we've got a loose fit now. We connected up the track wires and we're going to put this on to just a, a, a piece of track here. And it's, like I said, it's just all kind of loose. I'm going to slide that over and connect up the track to the DCC layout and we do see the little blue light. That's good. We're going to hit F0 and voila. Now we're going to flip the lights over so they shine down into the into the car, but just wanted to make sure everything's going and you can see that's a really really nice uh right, nice setup. Okay. But soldered the red wires to the positive side of the board and we'll do the same with the black side okay i'm going to solder the black wire on see if you can see that 
Okay, I've got both the black and the red hooked up to the board. And what we're going to do here, this is a little bit of a tricky step. Move all of this up here. I'm going to get the train onto a track. So we've got power. My board is hidden underneath here. Let me roll this around so you can see it. All right, I'm going to hook up power to the rails. I have a light blue light here, and I'm going to hit F3, and you can see the rear of the train lights are on. Okay? And the board on the light on the board is also there, but uh, and that'll be tucked inside so you won't see that. So we'll just leave that. You could paint that uh, over black as well. Okay, so the next step is to get this board and put it back inside. Let's take the power off here so we don't have any mistakes or anything in our way. And that board fits snugly right inside there. Okay? And don't worry about these wires. I mean, you can clean them up later. I just wanted to give you the idea of what we're doing. Right, so we've got the train back assembled. It's on some, a track here. We're going to add power to the track. And voila. Take a look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And the lights at the end, can you see them? Okay, and that's still, that little uh, glue is going to cure. And in that fantastic? We'll run it through its paces. This is, this is at 30% brightness, so it's pretty bright. And you can see the light goes down inside the car. There is, there is a 30% brightness. There's full brightness, 30% brightness, and we will have it auto dim and come back up. Isn't that pretty cool? Very nice. I think maybe we'll make it a little bit brighter for this one. Probably, let's make it 50%. And there we go. Beautiful.